putt. Goddamn, get it done with ya. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into the. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to go over something that a lot of people on YouTube are actually showing you guys the wrong way for this M52 engine. Now a lot of them are actually newbies, a lot of them are actually deluded because they shouldn't even be showing this because it's not actually critical for the engine. So I'm going to explain to you what you should not be doing on your BMW engine and I'm asking you guys to not follow this advice and please do not do this because it's not needed and I'm explaining to you why. So you see right here guys, this is a torque wrench. Now. A lot of people already know what you need a torque wrench for and what bolts you need a torque wrench for on the engines. But you get a lot of idiots who seem to believe you need to use a torque wrench for these, the van or solenoids to torque them up. Now, if you see any person on YouTube using a torque wrench, come away from their videos immediately, especially to be used on a van or solenoids. If you watch anyone's videos and the person is experienced, they will not be using a torque wrench to tighten up the solenoids. A real experienced person like myself knows it by feel on the hand how to torque the bolts up. The only time you use a torque wrench is for engine internals only, i.e. rod bearings, uh, head bolts, um, valve cover bolts, and things like that. You do not need a torque wrench to tighten up Vanos solenoids to 10 newton meters or to tighten up your Vanos filters which sit down there. You do not need all that. You do not even need a torque wrench to torque up your oil filter housing bolts either. You guys have seen me, I've never really talked to them. You tighten them up till they're snug tight, they talk to your bolts. You can't break these bolts at all, so do not be led that you can break them. You guys have seen me do this many, many, many times, and I haven't broke one bolt. As you see, all my bolts are fine and I've got no leaks. You do not need to use a torque wrench at all. Talking it up is not gonna do anything different for you either. And the same with these 10 mil nuts, which are underneath here for the oil cooler as well. You get a lot of people who's trying to teach people the wrong way and they're trying to teach you and encourage you to use a torque wrench to torque up all your bolts. I agree, engine internals, anything like that should be torqued up, but you're not gonna sit there talking up your van or solenoid bolts. You're gonna sit there talking up your intake manifold bolts, which is all crap. You don't need to torque any of them bolts up. They're all hand, you can tell when they're tight by hand tight. Anyone who's worked in a garage and been removing bolts all their life should know that. And you will see many, many YouTubers, a lot of them won't use a torque wrench, some of them will. And the ones that are using a torque wrench are guiding you guys the wrong way because you don't need a torque wrench to tighten up things like that. They're 10 newton meters, 10 newton meters is about hand tight. They don't need to be tightened. Anyone who says to you that they need to be tightened with a uh, torque wrench is purely because they are using cheap manual solenoids and what ends up happening is the seal can't get in to the hole itself where the solenoid is meant to go. So they squeeze it in, then they don't want it to have a leak on oil. So that's the whole problem why they try and talk them up to keep them in there. That's the main reason why a lot of them do that. Do not believe this crap that you have to talk them, you do not. These Most of these bolts are all aluminium. They come out very easily, they're very, very light as well. Even for the water pump down there, you know you don't want to over tighten them and you don't need to talk them at all. You will know when they're tight, they will turn and then you turn them half a degree again with your hand and then they're tight. They're not coming out whatsoever. So anyway, Anyone who tells you you need to do that on all the bolts here is literally lost their mind and I'm asking you guys not to follow their videos because they're leading you down the wrong garden path and do not believe anything that they say. The vanos solenoid bolts that hold the vanos solenoids in place can come out very very easily and as you see they're right here, they're located there. They're little 10 mil bolts and I've done it many times as you guys have seen in my video and I've never used a torque wrench and these are still fine and guys I replaced these oh, even before I did YouTube and look I've got no leaks so do not believe people telling you that a lot of them are newbies never worked in a garage before don't even know the difference between a tight bolt and a loose bolt so don't listen to a lot of them as I said they're all fine this is fine and look, come on guys I've been doing this for nearly two years now and look at the all my car is still perfect with no issues you know I haven't had no issues with it and I haven't used this on hardly anything that I've done so it just goes to show you that a torque wrench is not needed for all the bolts and anyone that's showing you that is leading you down the wrong way so please guys do not follow these guys and please stop doing this if you are doing this because all these kind of things do not need to be tightened up with a torque wrench including the Vanos filters so I hope this has cleared up a lot of these questions that I get asked on a regular basis as well because a lot of people see other YouTube using a torque wrench and then they come and ask me if they should be using a torque wrench for this and that. And I tell a lot of people the same thing. You do not need a torque wrench to tighten up your Vanos solenoids or your Vanos filters. If you're doing engine internals and you're stripping the engine down, that's different. Yes, you need to torque all them bolts down. And I agree with that. 
but you do not need a torque wrench to loosen and tighten vanos solenoids. They are just snug to hand tight. Anyone should know that. You don't want to break the bolt, so therefore, you just snug them to hand tight. There's no difference. The seal is what keeps the oil pressure in from the vanos solenoids. And the same for the oil foot housing. You can feel when they're tight down. You ain't going to snap them. As soon as they're tight, let them be. They're taught to yield bolts. They ain't going to go anywhere. They, go, they stretch down with heat on the engine. So therefore, they're not going anywhere. So I hope this has cleared up a lot of things for you guys. And as I said, I do believe a torque wrench should be used on engine internals only, but not when you're doing things like this. It's very, very simple. Use your normal ratchet, do it by hand feel, and you'll be perfectly fine. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.